All right, so today is Foundation Friday, and we have a fancy one today, folks. We're going to be reviewing the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. So this is a new launch from Pat McGrath. I do have the new Fenty Hydrating Foundation coming, the Anastasia Foundation, like five other foundations. They're all coming in Foundation Friday, but this one I was very excited to try just based on how it sounds. So this foundation retails for $68. You get 1.18 fluid ounces of product, so you do get a tiny bit more than the standard fluid ounce. Not a whole lot. It comes in 36 shades. I feel like for coming from Pat McGrath, they could have done a little bit more with that, but I picked up the shade Light 3, which says light with neutral undertones. So it says it's a long-wearing, customizable foundation that builds from sheer to medium coverage, lasting wear, smoothness, and a luminous finish. It's supposed to enhance radiance and luminosity, creamy feel, buildable coverage. So I'm gonna insert swatches right here of the shade Light 3 next to some of my other foundation shades so we can see how they compare. All right, so here are a few swatches. Right here is the Pat McGrath foundation in the shade Light 3. Next over is the Urban Decay Stay Naked new foundation that I reviewed a couple weeks ago in the shade 20NN. CYO Life Proof in 101, my closest shade match. L'Oreal Freshwear in 400, and NARS Sheer Glow in Siberia. All right, so that's it for this guy. Let's get into the demo part of the video. I'm sweating in here. It literally feels like a sauna right now. But if you're excited for Foundation Friday and you enjoy this video while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Foundation Friday is every single Friday. I have a whole playlist down below with hundreds of foundation reviews. Okay, so it is 8.26 in the morning when we're starting this. I need some more caffeine in my body. This might be my favorite box packaging I've ever seen from a foundation. It just looks so fancy and like the way it opens, everything is just so pretty. So here's what the bottle looks like. My only complaint with the packaging as far as the actual foundation bottle is that this, I can only imagine how dirty this is gonna get once you have like foundation on your hands or makeup on your hands. Products have these kinds of tops. The foundation just gets like stuck in here and it's really hard to clean out. Has a gold pump. I would like buy a shirt with this on it, okay? Ooh, the shade on the palette looks like it's gonna be pretty good, so fingers crossed. So I'm gonna do half my face with a brush, half with a sponge like normal. Her brush on the website that she says to use looks pretty much like the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. It's like more of a domed one, so I'm gonna go in with this one today. And then on the other half, I'll use my LA Girl sponge. Okay, I'm excited. Glowy, buildable. Sounds good to me. Smoothing. Off the bat, I don't notice any kind of fragrance. It almost feels like a little bit cooling, but maybe my foundation is just cold. Don't know how, because it's been like 80 degrees, but blending out really easily. It feels very thin. It kind of feels like the Estee Lauder Double or Nude blending out, and it kind of looks like that too. I think the shade is like a perfect match. It is very thin and kind of like watery feeling. Okay, I feel like I got pretty sheer coverage up on my forehead, and then about light coverage down here, but it does say it's buildable, and I want to see how much we can build this one up. But first, let's try a sponge on the other side. Why did I wear yoga pants? I'm already schwitzing in here. It's actually doing pretty well with the sponge. Looks a little bit less dewy with the sponge. The finish looks really good with the sponge. You can come in. Hi. Hi. You yeah. Wow, it's hot. I feel like it actually looks like a little bit better coverage on the sponge side. My pores definitely look more filled in on this side. So let's see how it does on the forehead. I'm just gonna bring it over to the side too and smooth it out. It does look very smooth. I agree with the smoothing kind of claim. This is reminding me almost exactly of the Estee Lauder Double or Nude. It's not the normal one, it's the nude version. It's much more dewy and like light coverage than the Double Wear. So I'm gonna go in with just a thin second layer to see if it's buildable. Right now, overall, I would say I'm at light coverage. I think you could go brush or sponge with this one. I would probably just use a sponge because it's doing pretty well with the sponge. And I like how it's kind of like really pressing it into my skin. I would say it's building to medium coverage. So I do agree with kind of like the sheer to medium thing. If you used less product, you could definitely get it to look more sheer. It gets a little bit streaky, so you kind of have to be careful with blending. I like that when you build it, it doesn't get cakier looking. It's staying the same, it's just like adding coverage because it does feel super moisturizing. I definitely feel like I'm gonna have to set parts of my face. Like I think my foundation would probably start rubbing off on my hairline, just touching my hair throughout the day. I'll definitely set right here so I can blend stuff on top. But so far it's looking beautiful. There's nothing I'm really noticing right now. I would say it has a dewy finish right now. We'll see if it kind of mattifies down at all as it sets. 
and to the touch. Yeah, definitely can still feel it, so you would need to set your face. Oh my god, I feel like it's 95 degrees in here. So right now it's 8 36. I'll see you guys once I have the rest of my makeup on in a second. All right, so the rest of my makeup's on. It is now 9 o'clock, but we're calling the check-in time 8 40 since that's about when I finished up with the face. So this is one of those that I feel like you do need to set unless I was wearing literally no other makeup. Like I just wanted to cover some of my redness and do like a really sheer application. Other than that, I would definitely need to set it. On my skin, I try and only set certain areas since I have dry skin. So I just set my hairline and then right here, just so I can blend stuff. And right now, it is looking beautiful. I think it looks gorgeous. It almost looks exactly like the Double Wear Nude to me though. So it's almost like double the price of that one. It feels really comfortable on the skin. It feels moisturizing. It doesn't feel super heavy. Even with having two layers on, it doesn't feel heavy at all. And it looks really pretty. I'm noticing a little bit of creasing starting just on my upper lip area, so hopefully that doesn't get worse throughout the day. But my forehead looks amazing. Love how it looks on my forehead. So the makeup on the rest of my face, for bronzer I use this Laura Mercier Bronze 03. It's a little bit on the orangey side, but it works. I almost just used it as like blush too. And then I use the Gold Rush blush by Benefit. Use the new Jouer Molten Glow highlight again, and I also have that on my inner corner. For actual eyeshadow, I use this NARS palette. This is Skin Deep. And I just went in with some of like the taupey shades in this palette. And then for lips, I use BH Cosmetics Natalie. And then over top, I put Sephora 32 liquid lipstick. So that is all the makeup on my face right now. We'll go see what this looks like in natural lighting and do a flash test. Okay, so I'm in natural lighting in front of the window right now. And it looks so good in natural lighting. I'm so excited. I literally have no complaints right now. It's looking beautiful. I love the coverage built up. I love the finish. It's like dewy in the right places, you know? It doesn't look like too overly dewy. It just looks really healthy and glowy. So I'm gonna zoom in. Love how it looks on my forehead right now and between my eyebrows. I hope it stays like that throughout the day. And then here's the rest of my face. I do think I could use a pore filling primer with this one, but that's pretty much any foundation. I just have large pores happening. It just looks so smooth, so nice. Looks like skin. Okay, so let's do a flash test. Great, my battery is flashing like it's gonna die. I think it looks pretty good in flash. Doesn't look like there's a major white cast. It might have a tiny bit of bounce back. I think it still matches really well. I think this is definitely my shade. And so far, two thumbs up. If I had another thumb accessible, I would give it to you. So I'll see you guys back in natural lighting in a few hours for the next check-in. Okay, it's now, whoa, what is my phone doing? It's 146. Not sure what's happening there. So foundation's been on for over five hours. So I've been running errands, doing things, driving around. For the first like three hours, it looked super good. Like every time I looked in a mirror or in a store or anything, like it looked really good. And just now in the past, I would say like hour, it looks like it's starting to just like go downhill a little bit. It definitely doesn't look quite as non makeup -y, just in certain areas. I'm starting to get almost like greasy looking around my pores. There's just like a few areas where it's starting to look a little tiny bit heavier and like a little bit more makeup-y. I'm not sure if that'll pick up on camera. Doesn't look bad. My camera battery died on me. Rude. We are back. It's been like 20 minutes. It doesn't look bad. I just can definitely see it a little bit more on my skin now. It's not looking the absolute best around my nose and upper lip. I'm getting some creasing on there. And I feel like it's almost like rubbed off a bit in certain areas. I do sometimes like rest my hand on my face. So I don't know, maybe it just kind of is like rubbed off easily. This foundation is supposed to be long wearing. That's like one of its claims. And it's only been five hours so far. I feel like this is normally how it would look like at the end of the night. It's just gone down like a little bit of a little slope. Hopefully it doesn't full on slide down the hill by the end of the night. But for $68, I do have like drugstore foundations that hold up a little bit better at this point. I do think it's oxidized about half a shade, but I'll see you guys in a few hours. Back in natural light. It is now 6.13, so it's been on for almost 10 hours. Looking real oily, folks. I feel like I haven't looked this oily in probably since I had oily skin. I'm trying to get it so you can see what I'm seeing here, but I feel like it's not even picking it up. It's not looking quite as oily on camera as what I'm seeing in the mirror right now, but I literally don't think I've been this oily since I had oily skin, like before Accutane. I can't remember ever looking like this with the foundation, so I cannot even imagine what this would look like on oily skin 
I mean, maybe if you fully powdered your face, that would help, but it's definitely oxidized throughout the day. Between the last check-in and now, it looks significantly shitty. It looks very creasy. It's separating on my chin and around here. Obviously, look really oily around my pores and you can just really see everything. And then my chin, it's like almost separating on. And then right here where I can like rest my hand, it's pretty much like fully rubbed off. My forehead doesn't look bad other than being oily, like I feel like out of everything my forehead looks the best. So I would not call this long lasting at all. I mean all my skin foundations usually hold up pretty well throughout the day. It's not like when I had oily skin and this is how most of my foundations would look at the end of the day. This is like pretty rare. Definitely didn't think this is how this video was going to end. I was loving it at the beginning of the day. And now I'm just like, what? That was a bummer. Definitely would not recommend this for that price tag. I mean, for $68, it should just look like that throughout the day. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Foundation Friday is every single Friday. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.